With hundreds of new one-star reviews, I wondered what was going on with the funded trader. After two years, after two years of working with the company, everything is good. Uh, I withdraw the money uh, bi-weekly, withdrawing, and all, everything was good. Until I passed the, the 200k royal challenge, phase one and phase two. And uh, just recently on the last payout, I've received an email today from the funded trader. To take the action of banning your account. Any active accounts will be eligible for a refund. I had one in phase one, which was almost halfway complete, three in phase two, and my funded account. Eventually, it's, they've just given up on replying to us. After the last video on the funded trader, I haven't really focused on the funded trader at all. We've already seen a lot from the previous videos about the CEO, how he handles these things. Personally, I don't care what it's gonna take. I'm gonna figure out how the fuck to make money. Like that was all I cared about. Um, and that's what led me into this industry, into prop trading. But currently the one star reviews are ramping up and I was wondering why this is. So I went on YouTube and I found some fellow YouTubers that gave me some answers. Now later in the video, we're gonna be looking in depth into the bad reviews. But first, let's hear it from this profitable trader that I had a funded account with the funded trader, but then they decided to erase all of his accounts, all of his progress because of some weird claim. I know that 1% get their first payout and I've had five or five or, or was to be six, but apparently now isn't. Anyone that has uh, become consistently profitable and had an account for as long as I've had, I don't know what percentage of people get to actually scale their account. I've had it scaled once. Compromise the integrity of our simulated environment. Like there is any compromise in a simulated environment. To take the action of banning your account. Any active accounts will be eligible for a refund. I had, let's see, one in phase one, which was almost halfway complete. Uh, three in phase two, which uh, two of them are in slight drawdown, and one of them is, I believe, fresh. And my funded account. And you would think that you'd be a benefit to them as a consistently profitable trader. Uh, but instead they just, uh, out of nowhere, with no clear reason, read this for yourself, pause the video, uh, you'll see that um, they deem you as a liability, which is, which I don't understand. After I passed the first two, I uh, received my certificate. A similar thing happened to this trader who was an affiliate for the funded trader and made a lot of sales for them and had payouts before and suddenly things changed once he passed his 200k challenge. So I passed this 200k challenge and finally I signed the contract. After I signed the contract, uh, two hours after I signed the contract and everything goes smoothly, I found out that they canceled my KYC. So I have to resubmit my KYC documents and get verified to, to make them enable my account to start trading on my funded 200k channel. So I tried for a week to verify my KYC again. I finally got verified again. So if we got to the profile, so everything is cool now. So I got uh, an email from the company that I best this channel uh, and my account is enabled. So I started uh, to trade on my account for one day one only day on my account trading and uh, at the last of the day my profit share was uh, like 400 dollar so i closed everything and got to sleep today the day i'm recording this video uh, second day i woke up on several emails of the founder trader it's all about this email you can read thank you for reaching out to us we want to inform you that every customer profile undergoes a comprehensive risk assessment process. After carefully reviewing your KYC profile, our team has identified several dis uh, We have taken the required steps to terminate all active contracts. Please be aware that this decision is universal. Who, who cancelled my KYC? So I resubmit it again and get verified. Why did you cancel the make my KYC? Did 
I got scammed. So this was really heartbreaking to watch. The guy was getting payouts for two years and suddenly it became a problem once he got funded with a 200k account and was actually making profits on the account. They decided to completely ditch him and the reason they gave was very vague. I think everybody would agree that this reason is a very vague reason of why they would actually terminate all of his accounts and permanently ban him from using the service. In the past couple of weeks, I've received a ton of emails and messages. And if you also want to share your story, don't feel afraid to reach out. But for now, let's look at the Trustpilot reviews. And while there are many really bad reviews about the customer support, like this guy who's been trying to contact them for four weeks and no response. And this guy who has had almost 110 emails with them, no results, only lies. Customer support is outsourced from Pakistan. And this is a clear thing that I've heard in the industry as well, that they don't even have a physical office. They basically are running, I think maybe a hundred million dollar company without a physical office. Everything is outsourced in cheap countries and the CEO just works remotely as well. So anyway, uh, payouts not given, shady promotion, software malfunction, so bad training conditions is something that I hear a lot from the emails as well. And it's not the same as before, after MT4, MT5 was removed, they became so slow, no support, only ticket system. Then it's been a week, no response. And these are all like six hours, these are all posted today, guys. So on the 21st of March, I feel robbed is what this guy says. I had bought my second challenge with TFT for $300. I really feel sad and cheated because today I was trading gold and the DX trade platform and I was doing good when news came 2 p.m. and froze and I couldn't log in. That's that's really sad. Uh, stop loss take profit orders are deleted by the system without clear reason. Customer support is not responding to the tickets. Yeah, it's just a mess. Um, I purchased an order on USD JPY asset and put my notebook in a sleep mode. So I went to take a shower. Then afterwards, I went to see how my position was operating and it had ended up losing my challenge. I'd been waiting for a response from TFT for over a week and nothing. My account was breached and my situation was not resolved. Unprofessional, inexperienced customer support care is zero. Each moderator says the same thing several times and nothing happens for weeks. After buying many challenges and finally getting funded, I was in profit and ready for a payout. The payout was rejected. They allowed me to go to funding and waste the rest of my life to tell me we have observed behavior that goes against our established trading policies. See, this is a common theme. They would just think of whatever they want not to pay you out. Please go to a futures or a company with rock solid payout record. I would agree with that. TFT trading accounts were being disabled earlier than the time they warned. Accounts breached that weren't the customer's fault. My account was one of those breaches. I tried being patient and not to write a bad review. It's been weeks. I'm waiting for a response. Ticket submitted. So basically they just stopped responding now and we see this common theme of bad customer support, no answers, and the trading platform switch has not been very good. My account got breached and nobody's responding. Now I can't trade on my 200k phase two challenge account. The position gets closed. So this guy as well, they had no reason, but they breached his account and it's really fake information. I've just passed the second phase around 10 days ago. Now I'm shocked uh, with the reason. Anyway, we can go over a lot more guys. There's so many pages of these. Uh, not paying out US clients. This guy has five payouts, all approved but never received. Waiting for three months now. Account breached without any violation. And you know, the CEO did respond, guys. So let's look at the response from the CEO. But as you can see, there's a hundred pages full. We just went over one page and I'm not gonna do everything, obviously, because otherwise this video is gonna be too long. Just understand the sheer amount of people who actually place the review. Not all of the people are gonna put a negative review, obviously, it's just a select few, but what an amount of people. Somebody also 
put out on Twitter, TFT is a scammer, the platform crashed, I lost two accounts today and yesterday, orders cancelled, I could not close the trades manually, I cannot find any response, DC mods and save by FX, plain dead, <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, he said on the 2nd of March we're working on a fix, well we're on the 21st of March now and still reviews are popping up, so I don't know what's going on. But basically he posted out proof and this is what it looks like. He couldn't log into the account sort for the quality of the video. But he's basically trying to log into his account and it's not working. And basically due to that, obviously his trades hit stop loss or just completely, you know, went into the wrong direction because he couldn't close them. So pretty sad. And right now, you know, after this 2nd of March, we haven't seen anything from the CEO. So it's basically got like some kind of pinned uh, podcast that he did. But the funded trader has responded 13 hours ago. We would like to update you all on payout operations. We have undergone a restructuring of our internal team and are going to be creating a roadmap, which will include when all outstanding payouts will be cleared. Anyone with a payout without violating any of the rules will be paid but they kind of make up the rules as well with some of the payouts here on the 19th of march they actually said that they have seen a thousand accounts wrongfully breached that's great i guess they're working on it uh still i wonder how this is the only prop firm having such a huge uh problem with the x trade i don't know let me know what you think in the comments is the funny trader a scam or is it just a, a mistake from listening to from listening to the profitable trader that we saw in the beginning of the video who had six payouts and the guy who was having payouts for two years both of them got breached completely all their accounts and for what reason they don't really give a good answer for it so anyways guys let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you have gone through any scamming recently. Uh, let me know in the email. My Twitter page is at Marcus Adrian YouTube. Marcus lower score Adrian YouTube. Alternatively, you can just contact me on Instagram as well. I'll follow you back and you can send a private message there or through my email MarcusAdrian19 at gmail.com. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video and stay safe.